We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. I greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus on this precious day. It is another day that God has given us. It is another week. It is another opportunity to press on and to receive from our great and our mighty God. I tell you, my friend, He is a good God and He is with you. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He is a good and a gracious God. You can put your trust in Him. You can put your hope in Him. You can put your faith in Him and he will come through for you. You know, in this lifetime, close friends can let us down. Family members can let us down. Even parents can let us down sometimes. But God, he will never let you down. He will help you. He will deliver you. And he knows what's best for you, even in this season. As you know, today's Monday, and on Monday I share the Monday prophetic word. I've got a word for you, and I know it will bless you. So without any further delay, let us begin. Let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit in the place. Wherever you're watching, say this prayer with me. Say, Holy Spirit of God, precious Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Come and bless me today and help me to live for Jesus. Amen. Now, my dear friend, as I was seeking the Lord, this is the word that I've received to share with you in the season. Don't rush the process. Allow God to work and to do what he does best. Oftentimes we rush and because of this, the victory isn't as much as God intended it to be. And the blessing is not as much as he wanted to give you. Be patient as the master works on you so that he can fine tune and bring out the best in you. If you are willing, if you are obedient, you will eat from the best of the land. He is a good God, and He has and knows what is best for you. Waiting on God and moving at the pace He sets puts you in a position to enjoy the blessing that makes rich and adds no sorrow. Wait on the Lord. Let your heart take courage and wait on the Lord. The best is yet to come. As the Lord gave me this word, He led me to two scriptures that I want to share with you. The first one is from the book of Psalms, chapter 27, verse 14. And I love this scripture. It is so amazing. It says, wait for the Lord and confidently expect the Lord. Be strong and let your heart take courage. Yes, wait for and confidently expect the Lord. And that's from the Amplified Version. I'll read it to you once again. Wait for and confidently expect the Lord. Be strong and let your heart take courage. Yes, Wait for and confidently expect the Lord. My dear friend, in this season, wait on God. Let Him be your pacemaker. Let Him lead you. Let Him guide you. Let Him speak to you. Let Him show you the way. Trust Him concerning what He wants to give you. He knows what will make you happier than what you think will make you happy. So trusting him is indeed a wise thing to do. The next scripture that the Lord gave me is from the book of Romans chapter 12, verse 12. And I love this. I'm going to read to you from the English Standard Version. It says, Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. I'll read that to you once again. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. In saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. Wherever you are, let us begin by praising and thanking God. And as we discern His presence, then I'll begin to pray for you as the Holy Spirit leads me. In saying that, let us begin. Father, thank you. Thank you for your grace and your mercy. Lord, we are so grateful. Where would we be without you? What would we do? In our own strength, we can only do so much. But when we follow you, we can do great things. And indeed, you have done great things in our life, even as we have been following you. And we trust you, both myself and my dear friend who is watching this video. We choose to have faith in you. We choose to believe you. We will not let anything hold us back in our relationship with you, but we will seek you. 
we will seek your presence. We love your presence and we are grateful. We are grateful for all that you do for us. And we thank you, Father. You're the Alpha and the Omega. You're the beginning and the end. You are our God. You supply all our needs. You take care of us and you sustain us, even in our sickbed. You sustain us and you bring forth the best in us. And because of this, we know that you will never leave us helpless. You will never leave us alone. Father, thank you for Jesus Christ. Thank you for sending your son Jesus to die for us, to restore us back to you again. You sent Jesus, your son. You came just at the right time, at the right moment. You accomplished the mission and you redeemed us back to you. And we are grateful. We thank you for the cross. We thank you for Jesus. We thank you for making a way where there was no way. You restored us all back to you. And by this grace we are saved. By this precious grace we can keep on going. Help us to live in a way that we honor you. For the great thing that you have done. Through Jesus we can receive blessing after blessing. We can receive grace and mercy. We can receive reconciliation back to you. We can receive deliverance. We can receive total and complete freedom. We can enjoy opportunities in your presence. And for that we are grateful. We give you praise and we thank you. In the name of Jesus. Amen and Amen. My dear friend, I discern God's presence and I know, I trust, I believe. As we trust Him, as we believe Him, He will make a way. Now in saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. As we begin to pray, I want to encourage you, comment and be in agreement. There is so much power in agreement, the Bible makes it clear. Where two or more are gathered in agreement, the Lord is there. And where two or more agree on a thing is touching, it shall be established. So in saying that, comment and agree and let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend. I pray that you'll give my dear friend grace to trust you in the process. To let you do what you do best. And as my dear friend follows you, waits on you, and moves at the pace that you have set, bless my dear friend mightily. Bless my dear friend so much so, with the blessing that makes rich and adds no sorrow. Not just any blessing, but the blessing that comes from you. The goodness that leads to repentance. Bless my dear friend mightily and bring out the best in my dear friend. Help my dear friend not to go forward prematurely, but to move just in the right time. In Kairos time, I ask this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen my dear friend i apply the blood of jesus over you and over all your family members may be blessed this week may you go forward may you enjoy the goodness of god and the blessing of god that makes rich and adds no sorrow in jesus name may you taste and see of the goodness of god even in the land of the living in jesus name god bless you and thank you for watching this from myself evangelist gabriel fernandez God bless you and goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.